So if we look historically at technology frameworks and models, then we move from the mainframe to client server to the web. We're going through a similar shift right now. And the shift that we've gone through is we've shifted to mobile, and mobile has become dominated by apps. Apps are the client server of our generation. So moving to the web of things, or the physical web, or the next web, there's lots of different names for this, really means moving to an open web where we can connect information, we can connect things, we can mash up the notifications and the management, we can bring those things together in an open way. Imagine this, I, w I drive somewhere, I park my car, I need to get some parking, I walk up to a parking meter, what I would like to do is just to use my phone to make that payment directly. Right now, I have to download an app, install it, give it permissions to everything that's on my phone, create a, a login, and then make the payment. In the future, I'll be able to walk up with my phone, connect, and pay in the same way that I can do online right now. What's Google for Work? So Google for Work has two major pieces to it. One is technologies that Google uses internally for Googlers that help them become more productive, help them collaborate better. So this is things like Gmail, Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets, Google Plus, Hangouts, all of those technologies that really, in an Internet of Things world, in a modern technology world, help people deal with massive amounts of data and collaborate at lightning speed. The second piece is Google Cloud Platform, which exposes all of the Google infrastructure for people to build their own applications on. So we have probably the biggest set of data centers around the planet with some of the fastest connectivity, super secure. With Google Cloud Platform, we expose all of that for people to do their analytics, for people to run their apps, for people to build their startups on. So a great example with, for that would be Snapchat. Everybody's using Snapchat to engage, to message, all of that is running through Google's cloud platform on the backbone and all of Google's data centers. So we are seeing an incredible amount of, of growth on the Google cloud platform side with very fast growth startups. So there's some amazing innovation out there that's coming out. Um, small companies with big ideas growing fast and using Google's infrastructure to make that, 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 that incredible leap. If I then look at the larger side of the spectrum, we have lots of retailers, manufacturers, travel and transport organizations that are leveraging that infrastructure to do some really, really great things for their people and for the applications that they're building. Let's take Jaguar Land Rover, for example. So Jaguar Land Rover are using Google for Work for all of the people in their factories, in their head offices, their mobile workforce. If we take retailers such as John Lewis or Waitrose, they're, they're equally getting out there and all of the people who are on the, on the store floors are using that technology to engage, to collaborate, to create a great experience for their customers. The path forward is the same path forward that we took when we moved from client server to the web. It's about openness. It's about the ability to go to an endpoint, however we define that endpoint. Let's, let's say it's a URL for now, maybe that changes. But to go to a URL and engage with information and things. That's the way that we will move forward. Siloed, owned infrastructure, where a single vendor owns all the infrastructure, will not work. It's been proven to work. We can't have an AOL for the Internet of Things, where it's a walled garden. That makes no sense. We want everybody to collaborate, everybody to work together with a set of open standards and a set of agreed mechanisms for that web browser of the Internet of Things. And when I talk about the web of things, that's what I mean. I mean, in your operating system of whatever device, be it a watch, be it a phone, be it some other form of wearable or a laptop, you can go to an endpoint, you can engage with those things and the information seamlessly, and you can receive notifications back. We don't 100% know what that technology is today, but that to me is the path forward, and that's where we should set our direction. Thank you for inviting me to the Internet of Things World Forum here in London in 2014. Fantastic set of conversations today, very engaged people, tons of questions after my presentation, which is always great. Lots of very, very excited conversations. Thank you for inviting me.